remember a lot of greasy food, uh, a lot of fries. As a kid, I remember not wanting to eat it. I mainly remember being greasy and pretty disgusting. Starchy. Not that healthy. Not that many healthy choices at school. I don't even think you could get like a, a salad or a you know some sort of lean chicken breast or something like that. I don't even remember ever seeing that. I'd assume it's probably the same. I mean, hear what's on the news about health issues and kids being more obese now. I can't imagine that it's gotten any better. School lunches are very healthy now compared to where they were 15, 20 years ago. The variety that they have available at the lunch is, is great. I come at least twice a month and I have lunch with my son, grandson. They have fruits, they have vegetables, they have good protein. I stayed here for lunch and they had grilled chicken and rice and beans and it was delicious. USDA administers the National School Lunch Program. There are about 32 million meals served every day in school lunch. USDA is purchasing about 15 to 20 percent of the food that goes on the school lunch plate. Tacos. Parents are very concerned about the quality of, of food. They want it to be uh, fresh and nutritious. Uh, they're concerned about the effect of, of food on their kids' behavior and their ability to learn. Unfortunately, many Americans do believe that USDA is buying surplus agricultural products that are high in fat and high in calories and dumping them, if you will, on our school kids. That is so far from the truth, and anybody who works in our business understands that USDA is buying only healthy and nutritious food. At the inception of the program in the 1930s, USDA was about helping American agriculture by surplus removal and putting that food in the schools, among other places. But over the years, the legislation and the structure of the programs has changed significantly. Now, what we are striving to do is align all of our foods with the dietary guidelines. And we have worked through every single line item in our 180 plus list of foods to make sure that we have reduced or eliminated sugar, salt, and fat. Take a look at our list. Now we have oven roasted chicken, we have Alaskan Pollock, we have lower fat and lower sodium cheeses. We offer things like whole grain tortillas, whole grain flour, whole grain pancakes, whole grain pastas and rice. We offer fruits packed in extra light syrup. We offer low sodium and no sodium vegetables. USDA is in the forefront of changing school meals to be more healthy and more nutritious. I think that's my biggest role, is helping the kids be successful academically. What else? Come on, I want to some You cannot uh, take in all of the learning and everything that you need to take from your classroom if you're, you're hungry. USDA has been a wonderful resource for us in helping us to develop quality foods in our nutrition education program. Oftentimes, our children, um, from some of their circumstances, don't have the options of nutritious foods at home, and so it's so important for them to have those opportunities when we come into the school building. Believe it or not, the salads are a big hit. <laughs> salads and fruits are definitely a big hit. My favorite kind of fruits are pears. Apples, bananas, carrots, apple, and grapes. Well, all school nutrition programs are on a very tight budget. Because we use USDA foods that are a great value for us, it allows the rest of our food budget to go further. If I didn't have USDA foods, I couldn't offer as many fruits and vegetable choices as I offer every day. USDA foods are a great value, a good nutritional value, and a good cost um, value for us. So it's a very important partner for us. This year alone, I've saved over $100,000 using USDA foods. I think it's important to eat more because it keeps you healthy and in shape. Because then you're more fit, you'll stay healthier, and you'll grow bigger and bigger. You could be strong, be healthy, and, um, and be smart. USDA has done a wonderful job with us in helping to integrate 
quality foods in our program. I would suggest to school food service administrators that they take a look at their, that their menu items that they do a cost comparison in those places where USDA foods can serve a purpose. And they should be able to come out in, in ahead of the game in terms of cost savings. You know, schools need partnerships, and USDA is a great partner. Schools can't do it by themselves, and we need guidance and resources. USDA has, has been a very integral part in, in helping us to ensure that we are providing quality foods to our children.